Blanche looked at her watch. 10.45. How could so much have happened to her in so few hours? She opened the refrigerator. Three of its spacious shelves held artfully decorated and arranged platters of cold meats and salads, as well as two trays of yeast rolls waiting for the oven. Good. She had plenty of time to make her phone calls. She'd noticed that the woman had gone to the front of the house to answer the phone instead of using the one hanging on the kitchen wall. She wondered if this was the colored-only phone. This was Dixie, after all. But she thought it more likely that the woman had been expecting a call she didn't want overheard. Blanche went to the swinging door and pushed it gently to see if her employer was anywhere around. Blanche didn't want her phone calls overheard either. Beyond the swinging door was a pantry with shelves and a narrow counter on either side. There was another swinging door at the other end of the pantry. It led to the dining room. Blanche took a quick peek. No one there. She listened. Nothing. She decided to take the chance while she had it and went back to the kitchen to make her calls. It's me, Mama. I was wondering where you was. I want you to stop by the... Listen, Mama, I only got a second. Blanche lowered her voice and kept her eyes on the swinging door. The urgency in her tone stopped her mother from objecting to being interrupted in mid-order. I wanted to tell you I'm safe. I, what you mean safe? Her mother wanted to know. I don't know nothing about you not being safe. I can't explain right now, Mama. Just trust me and take care of the kids until I get... If the sheriff or anyone asks, say you haven't talked to me. Say you figure I've run off to New Orleans like I've been talking about doing. But please, don't let the kids hear you say that. They're all right, ain't they? Yes, I know you're not a lying woman, Mama, so you know it must be important or I wouldn't ask you to do it. I'll call you again just as soon as I can. Give Taifa and Malik my love and tell them I'm sorry I couldn't call while they were home and tell them I'll... Don't you worry about these children, Ms. Cora interrupted. My grandbabies is just fine here with me, just fine. For a few seconds after her mother hung up, Blanche continued to hold the receiver to her ear and stare at the wall in front of her. Her mother's words hung in her mind like heavy weather. There was no mistaking her tone. Blanche felt herself a soldier being forewarned of the coming war.